to a catch up vlog. I wanted to film this in the car like we normally do. I ran some errands this morning and I took you with me, but it was so hot. It's really muggy today. My hair is very frizzy and I just thought, no, I won't film it. But then I just ate the most amazing HelloFresh lunch who are actually today's partner. More on them a little bit later. I had this lunch and then I thought, you know what, we should catch up over lunch as if we've gone out for a coffee together and haven't seen each other for a month. I'm going to give you a rundown of all the things that have been going on in August and what's coming up in September and basically just say hello again because as you know, I've been sharing the UK road trip vlogs and you've all been so lovely and supportive. So I firstly just wanted to say thank you so much for all your love, for supporting those videos, for watching them. And if you are new around here, hello, big warm welcome. I really appreciate you joining us. It has been so fun to put those videos together and I would absolutely love it if you subscribed if you haven't already because I plan on making more travel content and more fun videos. In fact, this year has been a really nice balance between travel and home and I feel like these catch up videos are so nice to be able to pop on in the background when you're cooking or cleaning or whatnot. Without further ado, let's talk about things. We're going to talk about the road trip. We're going to talk about the Eras Tour, theatre, awards, my hair, <laughs> hen party planning, and then some favourites. Yeah, that's basically most of the things. And I want to also cover sort of healthier eating, exercise, and just how I've been feeling over the last few months, especially with the burnout and grief and all those sort of personal feelings, you know? That leads me nicely onto talking to you a little bit about Hello. Fresh. We have been customers for years. I've been working with them since I lived in my flat. If you've been around since then, you'll know that's been eight years and we are very loyal customers. We have had hundreds of boxes genuinely get it every friday but because you can actually change cancel or pause your subscription at any time we do move it around and sometimes we get it on like a tuesday or wednesday whatever suits us and this week i actually added in my lunch i just had which was a butternut squash salad which was amazing but last night we actually had noodles chicken noodles which was such an easy stir fry quick dinner it was delicious and the salad tasted incredible because it had warm butternut squash with the mozzarella and the balsamic vinegar gave it that like very mediterranean fresh flavor but also transitioning into autumn with the warmth in there was so nice so yeah we love hello fresh because it gives us so much flexibility it removes all those sort of what are we having for dinner questions it makes meal planning so easy and everything is pre-portioned delivered fresh to the door and we love it they have something for everyone for every taste and unique family style you can check out their family favorites and kid approved recipes having so much variety just makes our meal times so interesting i actually love seeing the box and what we've picked because i always forget because we plan our meals so far in advance the app is so easy to use you can just change the meals you want pick the day as usual they have given me an exclusive offer that's only valid for a limited time and i think this might be one of the best discount deals they've given me if you use my code 6 Tate that will give you 60% off your first box, 25% off for the next two months, and free fast delivery if you order before noon. This is a good time to try it out if you want to. I'll leave the link below or you can scan the QR code on screen now. Big thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring. I'd love to hear if you have any favorite meals below. And also, Benj and I were having this debate about what food we used to hate and now we love because, fun fact, I used to absolutely hate olives and now I love them. I used to not really like nuts and now a handful of nuts in a bowl is one of my favorite snacks so what have you found that's changed i feel like i'm in my 30s and i am changing and it is quite fascinating as i get older my taste my style my feelings i guess it's all about growing up isn't it but your palate does change so let me know below i'd like to hear anything that you used to despise and now you love i used to hate butter as well butter could not be without butter in my sandwiches these days. <laughs> I'm trying to drink more water and Benji put ice in here earlier and it's so cold and nice on my throat because I actually bit my tongue yesterday. You know when like it's so hard it makes your eyes water. It was so painful. I was eating a sandwich and it just, oh, it was so stupid. Anyway, trying to drink more water. I am focusing or have been focusing and still am making better life improvements and healthy habits again. Eating well 
and just getting back to my my normal self because I completely let it all go out the window and let everything slip through May, June and July and Bonnie passed away in April and to cope with that grief I comfort ate, I overworked myself. Then we did the road trip which I was actually in a fairly good headspace for the trip but it also gave me a lot of downtime, time to process and as we drove long distances having hours to chat with Benj was like therapy and we both sort of dug deep on how to move forward and what we both want and where our goals are and working together and everything and it's been amazing it was amazing three weeks on the road meant that all my routines slipped out the window and so when we came back I said right I have to start from scratch so I've been focusing on my food my sleep my skincare water I've been going on walks every day and I'm finally at a place where going on all my local walks where I used to obviously take Bonnie is not hurting as much at the beginning it was really hard and I found it just too difficult but the more I do it and the more time passes the easier it's been getting and it's been actually so nice because the weather's been lovely waking up at like six or seven and being out and starting my day that way has been good for me I've also really loved the being on the treadmill at the gym and reading my book on the treadmill which caused such a debate on Instagram people couldn't believe that I did this but it's just been a new thing that's worked well for me and I've really enjoyed it I actually have cancelled my David Lloyd and I'm moving to a different gym just because I feel like I need to freshen it up I said to Ben that I wanted something new with new classes and just a new space just because I've been going to the same gym for so long and I kind of feel a bit of an, in a rut with it so I'm really trying, making some good choices and just taking better care of myself. And in turn, I really am feeling a lot more confident. And even today I put on this outfit, it's nothing interesting. It's literally just a pair of crew jeans, a black tank and a crew shirt. But I'll show you this picture I took, this is the outfit. I just felt like me, we're getting there, we're making progress. I've got a little tick list on my phone, like I always do here for you. My hair, let's talk about that quickly, because I have been having my naturally curly hair pretty much for the whole month of July. I don't think I blow dried it once. The whole road trip, I didn't dry it, I just let it naturally dry. And I've been really embracing my curly hair. I've had good days and bad days. I have been trying to talk about it a little bit on Instagram, and a lot of you are asking for a routine. I'm just not quite ready yet. As you can tell, I have actually curled my hair. I did it on Monday. Today is Wednesday as so I'm filming. So this is day three hair. And I wanted to see not only how well the, the curl held, is a bit frizzy because it's so muggy today. And obviously it's day three. But the curl has held so well. And I wanted to see the color because I recently had a little bit more of the like Albany red gingery tones added it just gives it a bit of warmth it is basically my natural hair slightly elevated my hairdresser does an amazing job and i love it so yeah having my hair cut into a like curly cut has helped the curls form better and i've just been trying to figure out what i like what i don't i'm actually allergic to some fragrances so i have to do a bit of trial and error i've been trying different methods different towels different hair brushes different techniques diffusing not diffusing it's a whole journey and i'm quite enjoying just focusing on it for now and not feeling like i have to produce content around it but i will eventually share like what works for me but i'm still very much figuring it out and any curly haired girls that have been on this sort of journey will totally be able to relate and i feel really late in life i can't believe i've gone like all my 20s knowing i have naturally cur curly hair and sometimes embracing it but really not digging deep on how my curl pattern is and how it forms and what it likes so it's been really interesting i feel like stepping into like who i am by embracing my curly hair this has been a real month of august for feeling like i'm changing and that's why the hair kind of you know played a role and getting it done felt good the road trip was so good we had such a good time if you haven't seen the videos already please do give them a watch because they were so much fun to make i will share the 40 11 timestamp thing because <laughs> i've had a lot of questions about that so each of the videos are exactly 40 minutes and 11 seconds each how that came about is vlog one that's just what it was i edited it exported it uploaded it didn't think anything of it that was just how long the video was vlog two i did the same thing i edited it exported it uploaded it 
it was exactly the same timestamp, which also happened for the Disneyland Paris videos. Vlog one and two were exactly the same length and I didn't even know. I just thought that was really weird. I was like, why are the first two vlogs exactly the same? Like to the second. So I thought it'd be fun to make the third one because I was already on the third one and I, I think it was like 41 minutes or something. So I thought if I just cut this ever so slightly, <laughs> I could get it to match and then I got carried away I just did them all 40 minutes and 11 seconds and honestly I kind of feel like 40 minutes is a perfect vlog length for those kind of videos and it kept me in a zone of making it that length it made me edit the videos with a fine tooth comb so I really went through and perfected them there were so many new songs that I picked and I just love the editing process and I'm really proud when I can see the finished video they take me so long each video takes me around three to four days we do know our next trip and I haven't shared it just yet but we are I'm not going to share it I know it's so annoying to tease this but we are going oh my god actually like I can feel myself getting emotional because I'm so excited um Oh my god, why am I getting emotional? <laughs> we are going to a dream bucket list destination in October. We've been invited to the most incredible location ever. It is somewhere I've, I've dreamed of for a very long time and I cannot wait to bring you along. I think you're all gonna guess pretty easily. I can't believe these sort of opportunities are coming to me and I've been doing this 13 years and every time, even like big things, small things and everything in between, but this is definitely on the like top end oh my god pinch me moment and then we're looking at going skiing at christmas so you can expect some of that we're also thinking of doing a christmas market if anyone has any great recommendations for a christmas market it doesn't have to be in the uk i was actually thinking more like in france or germany or switzerland like somewhere cute and cozy benji's got a couple of ideas it's a possibility but we're always looking at ideas i just love traveling i think this is a huge focus for benji and i over the next couple of years we are pretty much going to be doing travels and trips and then home stuff in between speaking of exciting things let's talk about the eras tour quickly i didn't film a vlog because no one needs to see a whole vlog from that and also it, it was my friend adam's birthday that day and he invited me within his friendship group that he bought the tickets and i paid him obviously but it was his thing that he organized and i just wanted to be in the moment and soak it up and not feel the pressure to try and film it but i did share a lot on instagram and on shorts and i even did an extra little short here on youtube for you guys so if you haven't seen those already you can go and check them out i did a what's in my bag a little transition a get ready with me and a, like b-roll with music of some of my favorite moments but the tour was so good i know it's been talked about but it was amazing i just wanted to say that i had the best time and i was so grateful to, to have been able to have gone i loved getting all dressed up my actual dress was from primark i got it in the sale in january it was five pound <laughs> <laughs> and it was one of those dresses like the minute I saw it I was like is that not the most perfect purpley sparkly dress speak now in fact this was the picture that I was looking at on Pinterest that Taylor wore a dress like it and then this was my dress and it just worked I had a little lounge fly bag and I had loads of friendship bracelets and I met so many lovely viewers in fact it was just the most amazing day I didn't want it to end it was just so sparkly feeling of friendship the warmth the community spirit the fans there were girls that were dancing holding hands in like a ring a ring of roses style but yeah I had a great time at the Eras tour with Adam and Gary and our other friend Heather you'll know Adam and Gary most of you from their vlogs um and Heather is one of Adam's friends and it was just nice it was a really nice group dynamic I would have loved to have seen it with Benj because I love experiencing everything with him because he's my best friend <laughs> but i did have fun so adam invited me to the eras tour after i'd seen the actual show movie version in the cinema and i said how much i absolutely loved and admired it i was really late to booking accommodation at that point all the tickets had been sold in the summer and there was no hotels so i had to book an apartment and they only had apartments that had a minimum of two night stay so it was so expensive i just eye-wateringly expensive but i said to ben do you want to come up with me for the first night and we'll go and see a show and like make a, a time of it and we did we went and saw starlight express because it was at the troubadour next door to wembley stadium we had this really fun evening it was such a great time we went to box park and it was a, it was actually the first night of the era's tour on the thursday that night and it was amazing in there had a great meal and then we went over to watch the show and before we went in i just didn't know what it was about benji had seen it twice and i had no idea and he said um you do know they're all trains <laughs> and i was like trains <laughs> what <laughs> but actually it's a very fun story obviously it's been around for donkeys and there were so many 
proper fans in the audience but it's very good for kids it's very fun really visually interesting i have so much respect for the actors that are actually rollerblading the whole time it was just a good show it's not gonna be in my top 10 but then i've seen quite a lot of shows and it's very hard to get in my top 10 these days and i would love to know if you want me to talk more about theater in another video or a home vlog at some point if you want me to talk about the shows i've seen and the one the best ones that i recommend maybe i can do a short video on that either way style express was fun we also got the chance to go and see sister app at the bournemouth pavilion i was so excited they kindly invited us as press this show is still on the west end but they're also touring at the same time and i can't believe i haven't seen it it was really good it was one of those ones that i was just grateful that it was on our doorstep and it came to bournemouth i don't think it's one i would have gone out my way seen to have seen in the west end but it, it is a good show it was fun i liked a lot of the songs but it's not again a top 10 but I feel like because I love theatre so much, it was one I wanted to tick off. So I was very grateful to see that. The next shows we're seeing are Aladdin. It's coming to the Mayflower in Southampton. That's our next local theatre. Very excited. I have seen it twice already. This is my third time and it's one of my favourites. It is in my top ten. So many people don't love it because they say it's quite panto, but that's why I love it. It's cheese. It's got loads of fun on stage magic. The music is amazing. And I saw it when... I can't remember what his surname is. It was a guy called Trevor who played Genie, and he was incredible. And I saw him twice. I just fell in love with the show so much. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that for the third time. Also book tickets to see The Devil Wears Prada, which is opening in October, I think. We're seeing it in October or November. I can't remember. I think it's November we're seeing it. I do have some really exciting news that I honestly i'm still a bit speechless about but i have just recently found out that i am a finalist for a be creator award in the women of youtube rising star category <laughs> so it's in collaboration with the women of youtube community so youtube themselves put me forward for this award and i am one of the final five and i cannot believe it there is no public voting it's all done with a committee so i won't find out if i have won until october but genuinely just being in the final oh my god i i am so honored so i just wanted to say thank you so much if you watch the vlogs and you support me i would not be here without you and your comments and liking and sharing and supporting me it means so much to me and opportunities like this are such a huge sense of achievement i will be sharing that on instagram probably and i'll talk to you more about it afterwards thank you youtube and thank you be creator thank you to all of you um i am honestly so grateful as well as working on myself in august i have been trying to focus on friendships i spend so much time with benj and i love him to death and actually i could happily spend all my days with benj and i do <laughs> i do but i know the importance of friends and i have been trying to make time for them obviously i got to hang out with gary and adam and heather at the era's tour so that was wonderful i also spent an evening with some of my other like non youtube friends that are basically my oldest friends so we went and spent an evening down at my mum's beach hut which was so nice did a, a little spread of food for everyone and just chit chatted is there anything nicer than just sitting with your friends and chit chatting i i think not we also played the new big potato games tilt and shout game which went down like a tree i knew they'd love it that was really good i also hung out with my lovely friend victoria disney in detail we uh, try and see each other every sort of six to eight weeks ish and we have a meeting place that we go to and she is just such an amazing friend victoria is 10 years older than me it doesn't feel like there is any age gap whatsoever but she is so wise like she just gives such sound advice just an amazing friend and i'm so sad we don't live close to each other so i feel like so blessed that i've got all these amazing friends i have lots of couple friends i have lots of girlfriends obviously i'm a bridesmaid for my friend bianca next year so i'll talk about that in a minute but i don't have loads of girlfriends that are super local that are flexible because some of my other friends like i've just booked in with my friend for like four weeks time or they can only do a saturday or an evening so i basically have been wanting more local friends that i can see more flexibly and i have made a connection with someone i i met so we, we used to go to school together but we actually I, I joined bumble bff i basically matched with this girl that i went to school with and she and i have a lot in common and i feel like we could we're going to be really great friends we've just moved from bumble to whatsapp and i really want to try and 
build on that friendship so i feel like i achieved my goal in august of like spending quality time with my current friends catching up and seeing ones that live far away making a new connection that i like to build on and seeing lots of couple friends that bench and i could hang out with i actually ticked every box so that was really nice speaking of friends as i said my lovely friend bianca is getting married and i'm a bridesmaid next year and i am basically supporting the maid of honor to plan the hen do so i have taken over uh, some of the logistics and together we've been such a great team i don't want to share too much because bianca does watch my videos sometimes but we have been basically putting together a great weekend for her and because i didn't have a hen do myself and i only got married six months ago can you believe it's been six months um i'm still very much in my like bridal era and i'm still enjoying all the like feelings and i don't know i'm honored to be a bridesmaid it's my first time and i really want to make it super special for her so i have been spending a hell of a lot of time on it like all the little details and the goodie bags oh my god so fun um let me know if you want to see what i've put inside the goodie bags by the way i'm really hoping this doesn't spoil things maybe hopefully bank's not watching if she has then spoiler yeah hen party planning speaking of they've actually someone just messaged few favorites i'm a youtube girly my favorite youtuber is sierra schultze i watch all her vlogs and she has an editor so she puts out so many videos all the time and it's amazing i love her so i watch everything she uploads and she has a main channel which is like a collective that she does with some friends but her vlog channel is where it's at i also love joel joel wood i love joel's videos i watch all of them and i'm a member to his channel memberships thing and it had me thinking like if that's something i would like to do i don't know if any of you would be interested in a channel membership where i upload extra exclusive content i don't know i've been thinking about it for a long time i'm just not sure yet tv i loved emily in paris the new season part one and two why can we no i don't like this part one and two thing i get it because that splits people staying as customers after bridgerton i don't think there's really been much that i've like been desperate for and emily in paris is one of them so i was really excited about that we love the dallas cowboy cheerleaders we watched that while we were on our road trip it was great i also loved cheer the documentary that was on netflix too so i knew i'd love this it was great and i've been singing thunderstruck ever since i also watched all of the new season of kardashians on disney plus i know that's not for everyone it's a total guilty pleasure of mine i just really love hearing what they say and seeing what they do sometimes it's a little trash but that's why i love it and we've just started on disney plus only murderers in the building the new season i've also been reading i am in love with reading books and i would love to hear if you would like me to do more book videos but i have started a book instagram account which i've talked about a little bit but it's called brogan's books it's linked below in all my videos and that's where i share all my reviews i also if you swipe across on my instagram on there i don't put my reels on that page so my goal is the main page will look like my library with all my books with all the reviews and then i'm making some fun reels that are book related like shop with me or hauls or come to, to an event with me but i've just finished lucy wood's book rewitched which i really enjoy and i'm also listening to rebel wilson's audio book her memoir i'm loving it she's hilarious i've also just started flawless by lc silver which is the chestnut spring series that everyone's talked about and i so many of you have said i'm gonna love it very easy to read even the font is so much bigger than rewitched and i think i'm gonna fly through it so i've been doing about 50 pages at night i'm loving it it is so good finally before i leave you i just wanted to give you an update for september i know when you're watching this we're sort of you know mid-september nearly but we are going to be taking a week off middle of september so next week there's gonna be no videos but not just no videos i'm gonna do no filming as well so no filming no uploading no editing i have not had a week like that all year because even when i've not uploaded i've been filming or when i'm not filming i'm still editing etc so i carved out this one week in my diary months ago with my coach laura and the plan is to just spend the week focusing on myself reading relaxing and what's the point of being self-employed if i can't have time off everyone else gets to schedule time off with annual leave so i am too because i know at christmas we'll be filming the skiing videos probably so this is probably the last chance before it gets really busy for me q4 
the last quarter of the year is a really busy time for all content creators because we're doing autumn and Halloween, Black Friday, Christmas, tapping into lots of campaigns that come in, exciting briefs, exciting brands. I already know a few brands I'm working with right up to the end of the year, which is so exciting. Yeah, it's going to be busy. So I'm looking forward to that week off next week and then I'll come back. Maybe we'll do a QA and a and a books chat then the week after because I can film those before. So we can do that then. And we've also been invited to a couple of events one of them is actually on board sun princess which we have not been on board any other cruise line bar pno cruises princess are under the same umbrella carnival as pno but they've invited us on for the day so we thought we'd go on board and have a little look around so i'll try and show you that in some capacity whether that's in a vlog or whether it's probably on instagram i imagine but i can talk about it at some point but i'm really excited about that because you know i love cruising so much we literally got married on a cruise ship so i'll forever love cruising and i will answer this yes we will do a disney cruise at some point i have been looking i've always reserved disney for disney trips cruising for cruising but i know a lot of you want to see us do a disney cruise and honestly i found some really great locations that i think would be so perfect so i'm looking for next year for that we're going to do an island road trip next year when bianca gets married because she's getting married in ireland she lives there now and we've also got walt disney world booked in for the end of january and i haven't planned anything i have not got my schedule out my spreadsheet i haven't looked at anything <laughs> so i do need to carve out some time for that because our dining day will come up 60 days before yeah i'm really looking forward to going back to Walt disney world so that's in January. I have already talked about that in the last catch up. Thank you for being here and listening to this waffle. Big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring. Like I said, 60 Tate will get you 60% off your first box, 25% off for the next two months and that free fast delivery before noon. So I'll leave the link below for you if you want to check them out. If you have got all the way to the end here, please give this a like and I appreciate you being here. You're the best. Big love. Mwah.